God is about to do something new in your life. So God is about to turn your life around if you can only allow him to do so. And that is by total surrender of your life to him. Total surrender of yourself. Submitting to the Lord holy. Telling the Lord to come through into your life. To enter into your life and do what he only can do. He's at the door knocking at your door and asking you to open and allow him into your life allow him into your life that he can come in and do what only he can do because he's the mighty man of war he's the lion of judah he can do great and mighty things and he says behold is there anything too hard for me is there anything too hard for the lord is the question tonight is there anything that god cannot do is there any sickness that the lord cannot heal is there any disease that god cannot deliver you from is there any situation that god cannot get you out of is it poverty is it debt that you're struggling with tonight is it disappointment is it unforgiveness whatever it is that you're struggling with i have a message for you tonight that god is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all and the same God we're talking about is in this place today he's the God of impossibility he's the God of Abraham Shadrach and is the God of Abraham and Jacob. He's the God of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. He did greater things in time and he's able to do them even now. The only thing you need, child of God, is to believe in the word of God, is to believe in Jesus Christ, is to believe in God that he's able indeed to do exceedingly abundantly above all. Think about that situation you're going through today. Think about that and think Thinkable circumstance. Think about that rock and hard place that you are in today. That is what God is good at. Impossibilities is what God works with. Impossibilities is what God is good at working on. And He says, Come unto me, all ye. He's not selective. God is not a respecter of persons. God is not a man that He should lie. He's a promise keeping God, and His promises are yea and amen. He says, I have lifted my word above my name. The word of God is sure. The word of God is real. The word of God is life. And it's going to bring life into the dead situation. Probably you're looking at your life and thinking that things are dead in your life. And asking yourself, shall this dead situation come back to life? Shall it come back to life? Can it come back to life? God is able to do exceedingly. I don't know whether you understand that scripture. He says he can do exceedingly abundantly above all. There is no selection of what God can do or cannot do. There is no selection of what disease God can heal or cannot heal. God is able to heal cancer. He's able to heal HIV. God is able to heal every disease that has been every disease that there is because he has a track record of having done it before he can do it now because he did it he can do it right now for you what is it that you want god to do for you faith again is all you need faith is all you need to get everything that you need from god faith prayer is the key faith is the channel believe in god trust in god let your faith not waver let your faith in god not waver let the circumstances not take you away from your faith do not sleep away from the work of salvation keep on pressing toward the mark of the high calling keep on having hope keep on having peace of god inside you keep on trusting in the lord and in the power of his might others trust in chariots and horses but who do you trust in we trust Trust in the Lord God Almighty. Others trust in their bank accounts, fat bank checks. Others trust in their families, well doing families. Others trust in their godfathers. But we trust in the name of the Lord. There is no greater Godfather than God Himself. There is no greater connection than connecting from the earth to God, than connecting to the spiritual realm. If you're in need of a job, the greatest connection you need, child of God, is connecting with God is connecting with Jehovah is connecting with God and he is the greatest connection you would ever need in your life why he says seek ye first the kingdom 
of God and his righteousness and all these other things new gali sosa they shall be added unto you because he is faithful forever pearl radio the home of fresh and classic hits